My name is Bella Sis and welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I don't honestly don't know what we're doing. In today's video, I'm going to be fixing up my Barbie styling head, I guess. So yeah. If you I've had this Barbie styling head for a while now. Two years, three years, I don't know. I got it for Christmas once. But if you've noticed he's not in the greatest condition. See down here in her hands fine by her face. If you can't see here, let me get her close. You can see that I've like drawn over her mouth. One day I was trying, I were actually remember doing this. I was I'm trying to give her a lipstick because I was bored of the color. So I took, uh, it's a washable marker. So it's say come off and then drew all over her face. And then if we go to the back and the second thing is her hair. Like her hair, it, from far away, it just kind of looks like it has a lot of volume, I guess. But if you go in, you can see that there's a bunch of fluff in it and it's very tangly, so hopefully I can get the tangles out. And it's done. When I first got this doll, it's supposed to be one of those dolls where you like flip the hair and then it's a different color, but because young me messing it up, I took the rubber bands that made it work out. And now see this is purple streaks in her hair, which is just as good. But today's video is unplanned. What I was doing is I was cleaning my room because my room was a mess. I cleaned it up, so now it's not that much of a mess. Before it was. And I came across my um, Barbie styling head and I said, you could really use like a cleaning or whatever. So I decided to clean her up and then I said, you know, I do need to record a video. So let's kill two birds with one stone. Clean up the thing and record it because why not? So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I got my Barbie doll hair stuff, a hairstyle book and hold on, we don't need that. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm not really sure where to start. I guess the first thing we should do is brush her hair because if you look at her hair it's very tangled like i can't drag my hand through it my fingers through it and there's fluff in it so let's brush her hair yeah this might take a while this video was so unplanned like i just saw uh, hmm, this would make a okay video i guess maybe if this video does good then i have another doll that could really use a cleaning I got her when I was little, and I think I'm going to give it to Goodwill, but I can't do that unless it's cleaned up, so if you guys want to watch me clean that up, you can comment down below. But today, I really did not feel like doing anything. Like, I knew I had to record, but I just did not want to. Like, I want to make videos. Like, you know, I, I like making videos. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't like it, but you know those days if, where you just don't feel like doing anything? That was one of those days for me. I was like, I did not do want to do anything. After I ate breakfast, I was like, I really don't feel like doing anything today. So I didn't want to do anything. But then I said, no, I should at least clean my room. If I don't record today, I'll do it tomorrow. But then I said, you know, I am going to do it today. But I don't know what to record. I don't have anything planned. So then I saw this in my room and said, you know, I'm just going to record cleaning her up because why not? So that's what we're doing. So if I sound like I don't want to be here, it's probably because I don't. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I want to be here. But anyway, this might take a while, so I'll come back when her hair is all detangled. Okay, guys. So, as I was brushing her hair, I realized that the ends were very tangly. Not just like tangly, tangly, like really tangly. That's so tangly that I couldn't brush through them properly. Like I had to like pull, it was like an arm workout. So I looked online and the best thing to do is to uh, straighten her hair. So this video is somewhat turning into a tutorial, but just in case you guys have a doll, it then works on all types of dolls, but not to styling. You will need conditioner, shampoo, con detangling spray, and a flat iron. But I don't have a flat iron, so I'm going to use this instead. It's like a flat ironing brush, something. I don't know. And your parents' permission. Do not do this without your parents' permission, because you will most likely get in trouble. 
So yeah, don't do this without your parents' permission. Don't just go into the bathroom, take their shampoo, and then use it. You might get in trouble, and I don't want them coming to me because I told you to do this. Oh, and maybe get your parents' supervision, too. If you're younger, then you should probably get your parents' supervision, too. Okay, so step one is brush the doll's hair out as much as you can. It's okay if you can't get a brush through it, but brush it as much as you can. Okay, I think this is as, as good as it's gonna get. So, now we are going to go to a sink and wash your hair. Okay guys, so now that we are at the sink, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is wet the doll's hair until it's all wet. Now that our face is washed, it's time to wet the hair. Now that our hair is washed, it's time to use some shampoo. After you're done shampooing the doll's hair, now you're going to want to rinse it out. After that, you're going to want to apply the conditioner. I heard it's good if you leave the conditioner in the hair for a little while, so I'll be right back. Okay, the conditioner's been in here for a little while, so now what you're going to want to do is rinse it out, and then you're done. Now you're just going to want to pat the hair dry with a towel, and then you're done. Okay, her hair is now finished being washed. Okay, here we go. Now you want to pat it dry, not so it's completely dry, but just so it's not like, dripping. We're now done with the shampoo and conditioner. Now what you need is anti frizz spray. Never mind, forget it. Won't stand up. And a flat iron slash curling iron, but I don't have either of those, so what we're gonna be using is this. Okay, now that her hair is pretty much dry, I'm going to brush through it a bit to get the tangles out. Actually comb through it. Some of the parts I really can't get the comb through. Alright. No longer need the towels. So now I'm off to go with the flat iron thing. And remember, this is not human hair, it's doll hair. So I recommend not going too high. If you look at that, I'm going to see if I can get it to sew the camera. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not going past 190. So, oh, and don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. I'm not touching it. Don't. don't touch it. So for this part, I recommend you have parental supervision. So, you know, you don't get in trouble or end up getting hurt. We're going to give it a second to cool. To Not cool, I mean to heat up. So I'll be back when it heats up. If you look at the bottom of her hair, it's still ridiculously frizzy. So I recommend doing it sections. Don't just like take the brush off. You're gonna do it in sections. And make sure you do not burn yourself. Be careful. So now, let's see if this works. So I've gotten a little bit of the hair done. If you look at this side that I've already done, it's still a bit frizzy at the bottom, but if you, but if you compare it to this side, it's much better, so it does work. Alright guys, we're on the last piece of hair right here. Alright, that was the last piece of hair. So now we're just going to go over her hair and brush it out a bit. Or comb it out. Normally. 
Mm. My hair is still a little bit wet though. Alright, we're now done with the flat iron brush. I'm going to unplug it and let it uncool. Or un get unhot. What do you call it? Cool off, I guess. That's what you would say. We're done with this. So now if you look at her hair, it's much less poofy. And look at that. The brush goes through much easier now. And the ends are less frizzy. They're still a bit frizzy, but you know, it's not perfect. There you go underneath. You can now brush your hair much easier. I can get the comb through. And there we go. So, and while she was, um, while I was washing her hair, I did take the blue marker off her face. So, yeah. So, there we go. So, you know what I'm saying? So, here's a before picture. So, just so you know, and then here's an after view of her hair. So, it did work. It is much softer. And if you look at the ends, they're way less frizzy. So, the brush can go through. And if you're not happy with it, or you know, it's still frizzy to you, or you just don't want to go through the trouble of, um, what's it called? Flat ironing or curling her hair, you can just cut the ends off. But doll hair doesn't grow back. So, yeah, so. Anyway, her ends are much less frizzy. So, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. And if you want to know how to curl your doll's hair, I can make a video on that too. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, it'll work most of the time too. If you want me to do that video, leave a like and um, tell me in the comments. And I also have another doll that I need to fix up. So if you want me to record that and post it, you guys can let me know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and of course subscribe to Bella YT if you want to see more videos like this one. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Look at some back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed.